to be learning about the classification of plants. Classification of what? Plants. We say that when we want to classify living organisms, first of all, we classify them into two different kingdoms. Is it not? Kingdom is the number one classification. And we have two kingdoms, the plants and the animal world kingdom. Now when you come to the plant kingdom, you can classify them into divisions. You understand? And the major divisions on the plants are the schizophyta, schizophyta, talophyta, bryophyta, and spermatophyta. Those are the major divisions. So we are going to take each division one after the other and see the characteristics of such division and the example of organisms that are there. Is that clear? So number one is the word schizophyta or schizophyta. These are Prokaryotic cells with no definite nucleus. Is that clear? They are simple organisms. They are very, very simple. Simple organisms. Example of organisms in this group are bacteria, viruses, blue green algae or non-stop. Is that clear? So the first group or the first division of plants are the schizophyta which are actually prokaryotic cells. Prokaryotic, prokaryotic cells are those cells that don't have definite nucleus. They are simple organisms and examples are bacteria, viruses, blue-green algae. You understand? And you know that bacteria and viruses are the things that cause disease in human beings, isn't it? Isn't it? So in this classification, you know the nature of these organisms that cause this disease. They are prokaryotic cells and they are simple. Most of them are unicellular, you understand? They are very small. That you can may not be able to see them with your eyes. You understand? So what are the characteristics? What are the characteristics? What are the characteristics? Number one characteristic is that they are prokaryotic cells with no definite what? Nucleus. Number two is that they are simple. They are what? Simple. So I can write here, they are unicellular organisms. They are unicellular organisms. What do we mean by unicellular organisms? They contain one cell. They are unicellular organisms. Number two, they reproduce by asexual, asexual means, in brackets, binary fission, fission. They reproduce by what means? Asexual, asexual means. They reproduce by asexual means, in brackets, binary fission, you understand? They are not like human beings that will need the male part and the female part to come and meet in order to produce young ones. These ones are produced by division. They just divide. The cell will just divide into two. That's what called binary fission. Into two. They just divide. That's how they make new ones. 
once any cell matures enough, it divides the division matures enough again, divides again, that's how they reproduce. That's how schizophyta, that's how bacteria and viruses reproduce. Is that clear? Another characteristic is that they are microscopic. They are what? Microscopic and non-green plants. They are microscopic. They are microscopic. What do we mean by microscopic? They are too small that you cannot see them with the, the eye. They are microscopic and they are non-green plants. They are non-green plants. They are not green. You know, plants are normally green in color, isn't it? But these plants are not green. The bacteria and the viruses or the blue-green agar, they are not normally green in color. Is that clear? What other features do they have? Like I said before, they are simple organisms. They are what? Simple organisms. And they belong to Monera. Monera, a group of simple organisms. And like I said before, they have prokaryotic cells. They have prokaryotic what? Cells. And I say that those plants that have prokaryotic cells are the ones that does not have definite what? Definite what? Nucleus. They don't have definite nucleus. Exactly. So these are the characteristics of schizophyta division of plants. Now we're gonna look at the number two, known as talophyta. Known as what? Talophyta. Known as talophyta. That's what we're gonna look at in the next class. Talophyta. Talophyta.